it is February 26, 2023 at 6.42 p.m. Good evening, YouTube. It's Ro here. Thank you for visiting You Grow Ro. If this is your first time, I hope you'll consider subscribing at the end of this video. If you've been here before, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Today, I'm going to give you a little update on some of the things going on, well, growing on around the house. Um, I got some seedlings that we could take a look at, and I'm even going to throw in a couple of my arrow gardens because we got some things going on in those too that look pretty good and worth sharing. So uh, I'll be back in just a sec with a whole bunch of updates. <laughs> Today we're gonna take a look at a couple of things. Um, I was supposed to have gotten my vinegar started it was yesterday um, at the latest and I didn't. Um, if you can't tell, I'm still a little sick. I wound up catching, thank you, lovey. I wound up catching some kind of um, chest cold <clears throat> in the middle of last week and I was pretty much down all weekend. Yesterday, I just barely got out of bed. <laughs> and today, I forced myself. Um, I went to Lowe's and Home Depot, spent more money than I planned on spending, but that, that's what we do. Um, and, uh, but, and I wore myself out. I did go ahead and I triple, I was supposed to also um, get the vinegars that the guys wanted to them, what, last week, and I never got around to doing that, so I got that, got those triple, um, triple filtered today for them, and all bottled up, they're nice and beautiful, and I'm really excited for them to receive them, matter of fact, let me go get them so you can see how pretty they look, I have for them thyme and shallot, isn't that beautiful? Triple filtered through cheesecloth. And then the bottles came with these little shrink wrap um, type of necks. You just use your, uh, I used my hair dryer because I couldn't find my um, heat gun. If you use a heat gun, it goes a lot faster. Doing it with the hair dryer, this took about like three, four, five minutes each bottle to get that shrink wrapped around there. And it's not even perfect like it should be, but it's good enough. Um, and then they're both getting a bottle of the raisin vinegar, which was my favorite. And doesn't that look amazing? Look at that color, you guys. Again, triple filtered, all homemade. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And then uh, this is, uh, uh, this is the green tomato one, the green tomato vinegar. Um, I'm so sad. I'm all out of this one. This one's really good. And obviously I can't go to the store and buy green tomatoes. So now I know what I'm going to be doing with a bunch of green tomatoes next year because this was really, really good. Um, but this too is looking really good. Triple filtered. Best I could using cheesecloth. Anywho, that was fun. And then I still need to, if I have um, enough to give to them, they also want a bottle of pineapple and a bottle of apple pear each. So we'll see. Pretty sure I got the pineapple cover. I'm not as sure about the pineapple or the apple pear, but definitely the pineapple. I can give them both the bottle. And then my girlfriend, Terry, we went to high school together. She's been watching it um, on my Facebook page and she wants me to send her some. So I'm slowly letting her know what's left over and that she can choose from and I'll send her some to her little homestead. So let's take a look at my seedlings um, that I started in a Jiffy tray. Um, on what date? February 5th, and today is February 26th, I believe. 
yes, February 26th. So it's been about 20 days for these, um, these seedlings. The ones that came up, there are some that are empty and I'm gonna drop some seeds in there today because if I feel like if they haven't germinated in four weeks, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, come on, do something. <laughs> Especially when the other ones did. Well, I'll show you, you'll see here. Take a look with me. Ah, uh, real quick, guys, I need your help identifying something. So I got these mystery seeds from M.I. Gardner. Um, looks like in 2021. And I'm just not getting around to opening them. I don't know what these are. I am not, these are not ringing a bell. Do you guys recognize what these are? I have no idea. What kind of seeds are those shoes, guys? Help me out. Tell me what I got here. Mystery seed, mystery seed, what will you grow? I'll sow the seeds and then I'll know. <laughs> so check this out. These were all started on February 5th, 20 days ago. And these first four rows are all supposed to be chives. I, it's really weird that these two rows didn't germinate and then these two rows did, but that's that's how that happened. So I'm going to be replanting something else in these there. And then over here, my culantro came up real good. It's not growing super fast, but it's there. And saltwort has told me no, except for that one little one back there. Got one little one little salt wart. Um, I'm hoping that the winter sown salt wart will do a lot better. And then over here, uh, oh, got a little mold on there. Um, these are one, two, three, four, five, six. These are spilanthes, and I make a spilanthes tincture, and that's what these are going to be for also known as toothache plant. It has a numbing agent to it. And in fact, I think I have, let me show you my tincture that I made um, this past summer. All right, so this isn't exactly what I thought I was gonna be able to show you, but here's my Spilanthes tincture. Um, I just have my dropper there. As you can see, I've been using this one. And, but usually I go all out on my tags. Um, but I didn't on that one for some reason. I'll have to see. I'll have to make them up. But usually I do this. So when I make my tinctures, this is a mandarina lemon balm tincture. And the, when I made it, what it's great for. And all those types of things. <clears throat> so next fall, summer, whenever I make my next um, Spilanthes tincture, I will make a label much like the one for the Mandarina Lemon Balm. Moving on, behind the Spilanthes is Lovage, which um, I understand to be an herb that is kind of a uh, um, celery replacement. It is perennial, and I'm very excited for that one. Behind those are sunberry. I just replanted some more seeds in that one um, because nothing came up, but at least I did get the one. And then these two are empty. We're gonna plant, pot those up, or plant those up today. And then here, one, two, and three, we have um, Shasta daisies. Those are looking really good. And then one, two, three. Is it these two? I'm gonna say these as well. Yeah. Four and five. So one, two, three, four, five. 
those are ranunculus and looks like we have a couple little babies that germinate it but nothing to get too excited about just yet they're still very very small they got a long ways to go all right let's take a look at what i'm gonna put in those places that didn't germinate speaking of tinctures <laughs> All right, I got my seeds in. Um, so this first row, without a tag, by the way, that's a disaster waiting to happen. But that first row is hollyhocks. And I'm so, I bought these, what, a year ago? Yeah, these are from 2021. Look at those. Are they not gorge? Oh. Oh my goodness. So I just planted five of those. Really hoping to get all five. It's an annual biennial. Romantic soft blushing pink powder puffs with dark pink centers. Freely produced on dwarf plants. So. Frost hardy. Yeah, because it's biennial. Cool. Cool. All right, so that's the Majorette Double Champagne Hollyhock from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. And then in this one, I planted um, pink celery using my own seeds. I have grown this before, obviously, since I have my own seeds that I harvested. Uh, and that is a really fun plant to have. And then next to it, I planted um, this celery. That's giant red celery from Baker Creek heirloom seeds it says traditional and reliable red celery from England tasty old-fashioned celery flavor very cold hardy perfect and cool weather very reliable grower yay yay so I only did one of each um, I don't need a whole lot of those and let's see up here in those two I put the burgundy broccoli. It is quick to produce and continues tender side shoot production for a long harvest period. I successfully grew purple spouting broccoli, what, two years ago, two or three years ago. It took, honest to God, like a whole year. But then it produced for what seemed like another whole year. Um, and I was sad when it was gone, but so I'm going to try again. We'll see how this one goes. And that's it for what I threw in here. Um, I didn't put any more seeds in here. I still want to get this salt wort a chance since only one came up. Maybe they take that long to come up. So I'm going to show some more patience here with these, but I did go ahead, like I said, and planted these up. Oh, I got it. Two empties here. Um, plant those up since I already see that chives in the other ones sprouted so I'm guess I don't know why those didn't sprout but yeah we're moving on so I'll find something to plant in these two right quick all right for those last two cells I'm gonna put these in golden pearls berries my note says they're slow to germinate so I'm gonna put those two right here and right here don't know why probably i was just probably looking for fruit that was gonna give me now wait a minute <gasps> guys hold on could it be no look that looks an awful lot like these. Okay, so I'm gonna guess this is some kind of berry. I don't, I don't know what kind of berry it is, but I'm guessing it's some kind of berry since the seed is so similar to these berries. Huh. 
Still, though, if you have any guesses, let me know in the comments. What the heck are these mystery seeds? <laughs> all right, so anyways, we're all planted up here. Oh, well, let's do it. Wow, these are some small seeds. I'll get those planted in a sec. So we're all planted up here. Let's hope for the rest of that germination to come through. I do not have a heat mat up under here. This is in the upstairs room that stays about 70, 71. Right now it is 73 in here, so they should be fine. I still am really hoping for another sunberry. I want more than one plant since it's my first time growing it. Okay, moving on. Uh, take a look at the Celosia. It's not big like it should be, but that's okay. We're growing it in a tiny little arrow garden. That's fine. Look at all the side shoots. I wasn't expecting that. Now it says that you can use these for tea, so I'm going to be harvesting these and seeing if by me taking off these bigger pieces, if that'll force these smaller ones to do the dang thing. We'll see. Meanwhile, my kale is doing good. It's nice and tasty. It's hard not to eat the whole thing. It's so dang on small. <laughs> this tiny tin is looking good. Finally catching up. This one's doing even better. And it's giving me fruit. You see that? Not all my tomato plants hate me this time around. <laughs> Speaking of tomato plants that hate me. Here's that 42-day tomato upstairs that was on the struggle bus and still is. Uh, but I have a fruit. <laughs> one. One single fruit. Now, we can't go getting excited because it's got a long ways to go, but there the little guy is. Get out of the way. Wait, I lost him. Oh, there he is. In the top right-hand corner. There he is. So, we have one whopping tomato on here. Um, as you can see, they are still dying off. I am still pollinating. Um, so, I don't know. I'm helping myself, I guess. <laughs> Got some leaves to remove. These will be going into my... Um, sorry about that. I got some leaves to remove. Uh... Looking a little sickly there, that, and we got this one down here not so well, and this one don't look so good either. Probably take that one off. Um, and put those in my uh, Vitamix composter. Um, speaking of, I've been doing that religiously, and we have ourselves a full, hold on. All right, so what? I'm a month in with my new Vitamix composter thing. And um, I have filled up a half-gallon jar of the... Oh, dang, damn it. A half-gallon jar of the um, end product. Now, remember, I have started running mine through the Vitamix... Because it comes out too chunky and it takes up too much space. And this is just easier. So, if it took a month to do that, I got probably two, two more months before I'll be able to plant outside. Maybe I can get three jars together? I don't know. Maybe more. I've been going outside and getting stuff. Um, things that I didn't chop up. You know, at the end of the year last year, stuff that just died in the planters and stuff. I've been bringing it in, just tearing it off, bringing it in and putting it in my machine. Uh, meanwhile, this Thai basil looks really good. I did a big harvest off the Thai basil, the lemon balm, 
and the um, mint over here. Uh, I ate some parsley as well. Mm, my cactus. It's trying to do a flower. How cute is that? <laughs> Yay. Onions. I kind of figured this was going to happen. I let them bad boys go. That's okay. I ordered some several weeks ago because I knew I do this every time. I knew I was going to do this. Um, I was hoping I wouldn't, but I did. Um, my system is not set up for what I need in order to take care of onions the way that I should. So, Anyways, but this coleus came up in here, so I'll be pop popping that out and up potting it. You know, I love my coleus. So I finally grew a brain <laughs> and I went on the MI Gardener website to see what berry seeds he sells on his website. And at least right now, all he has on there are, um, all that's on there are strawberry seeds and um, goji berry seeds. So I'm going to guess that these are goji berry seeds. We shall see. I just put four down, two in each cell. So if they germinate, if I can keep them alive and then they mature, maybe I'll have myself some goji berries. <laughs> um, they're not that good. <laughs> Excuse me, at least not the ones that I've had. Um, so I'll, uh, if it is goji berry, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some research about what I want to do with them in case I actually get some. All right, guys, that does it for me today. Um, I'm sorry I was less than energetic, but I'm still recovering. Um, let's see. Uh, I do have the video for the new vinegars coming up. Um, I just have to go get the ingredients, which I didn't have the, I didn't have the, the, the willpower to do this week um so we'll see about tomorrow maybe tomorrow i'll go on my lunch break because i got a grocery uh within walking distance of my office so maybe i'll do that on my lunch break and then record the video for the new vinegars for the new tastings that'll be happening in a couple months here all right guys happy growing and um pretty soon i'll be coming back because i want to start up some more of my seeds for the planter HGC 2023 challenge. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. Oh God, <coughs> don't. <coughs> oh, sorry. At any who, it seems like I have overdone it. My throat's starting to bother me again. So I hope you guys are well and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for visiting and thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.